I mm-hmm. hope the people that voted for me as a Labour MP understand, just as the, the, the other people that voted for me as supporters of other parties and members of other parties. I've always tried to be independent. I've always put my constituency first, and that's not going to change at all. Well, perhaps you'd like to put that to the test by standing in a by-election then? No, I think the reason that you do that is usually if you break the law um, and uh, sort of transgress in some way. Well, there have been I precedents for people changing party and, and standing there in There have, yeah, but I haven't changed party. Well, you I haven't changed my principles, my values or anything I stood for. Everything I've said at all of the elections stays with me. Those are my principles. I will put my constituents first always, and that hasn't changed. I'm just not paying the Labour Party £300 a Hi everyone, when Lee Anderson was sacked from the Conservative Party becoming an independent MP before switching to Reform UK, I argued that there should have been a by-election. When Natalie Elphique defected from the Conservatives to Labour, I also said there should have been a by-election. Now with Rose Duffield resigning from the Labour Party, I'm calling for a by-election again. And I don't think I'm alone. Lewis Goodall posed a question to her, so what do you think Rose's response was? Would the MP who claims to have resigned on principle stand by those principles now? Her response was to just say, I hope the people who voted for me as a Labour MP understand that just as those who have supported other parties do, I've always been independent, I've always put my constituency first, and that won't change. Goodall pushed further, suggesting that she should test this claim by standing in a by-election then. To which she replied, no, usually you do that if you've broken the law or transgressed in some way, or when you've switched party altogether, or become an independent. There have been presidents for MPs changing parties and triggering by-elections, yet Rosie claims she hasn't changed her principles, values or anything she stood for, saying everything I've said at all the elections stays with me. Those are my principles. I will put my constituents first always, and that hasn't changed. I'm just no longer paying the Labour Party £300 a month. What an absolute charlatan. Rosie won her seat, thanks to the Labour Party. Now she's using that position to stay in Parliament for the rest of the term, potentially another four years, without being challenged, as the rules require MPs to to have broken the law before constituents can trigger a by-election. This is is not just dishonest when it comes to Rose Duffield. It applies to any MP avoiding a by-election. You're elected partly because of the party you represent. So when you no longer represent that party, what happens to those who voted based on the party policies on the manifesto? They're left with an MP who may work against those very principles. If Rosie truly stood by her beliefs, why didn't she run as an independent from the start? Clearly she, knew that holding on to, clearly she knew that holding on to her seat would have been difficult without the Labour Party's backing, especially with the anti-Tory wave. She likely decided it was best to stay as a Tory MP, as a Labour MP, and then make the switch later. This is dishonest behaviour, and, and it was dishonest when Lee Anderson did it, and it was dishonest when Natalie Elphick did it. Avoiding your constituents and dodging accountability isn't just dishonest, it's running away from the principles you claim to hold dear. Rosie disagreed with Starmer on policies like the two-child benefit cap on universal, and universal credit, and the winter food allowance, and I respect her for that, but... She criticised Starmer for accepting freebies. She downplayed the fact that she accepted them as well, arguing that the amounts were smaller, but the principle remains the same. You can't criticise others for something you do yourself. If you truly care about your principles, you'd be the one calling for a by-election, not waiting to be pressured into it. But Rose's reluctance to stand by her belief and let her constituents decide proves she's a coward and a charlatan. But let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I've been Jake from Just Jake, and I'll see you later. You actually made it to the end of the video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, which, why haven't you already, is somewhere over there. And also, if you want to watch more videos, also check out over there. I've been Jake from Just Jake. See you later.